So how we doing guys and welcome it's Kraken here back in seven days to die alpha 19.1 and we're on day 23 of the dummies guys now how we doing guys back here Monday getting the week started well now day 23 so there's a few things we need to do obviously we know we need to do a lot on the horde base just down here we made it through the last horde but things obviously we've Put the difficulty up now. We really need to start getting some things done. Our game stage is currently sat at 64. 64, so not not too bad. How are we looking over here? Is everything okay? Oh, there we go. Our plaster cast. We've got those made up. Um, let me quickly show you the recipe in case you missed it in the last episode. Really easy to make. I had no idea that A, I had this unlocked and they were that easy to make. I believe it could have been because we had unlocked Physician. Uh, does that tell us here? Uh, first aid bandages, first aid kits and splints. Yeah, and plaster casts. So there you go. So quite worth putting a point into Physician for that reason. Obviously, as we well know, Kraken does not break his legs, but sometimes forces are out of my control. Where is where is my food? Ah, there we go. Steak and chips. Beautiful. There we go. Let's have one of those. Food looks all right. So today, first things first, we're going to go and dig up this treasure chest. Sarah's treasure down here. And then we're going to go down and look at this tier three. And then pop down to this trader down here, because hopefully, with any luck, they've got a cement mixer for sale. Because we really need to get some cement on the go. We got so much from Grace's in the last episode that we really need to get that going. And we need to dig up some sand all down in that area. So, let's get cracking. Right, here we go, guys. Here is half a circle. I oh, know. Bigger circle than I was expecting. Here's the circle for Sarah's treasure map. And down there we've got the... See, the fire office? Fire marshal's post? Something like that, which we need to go through at some point. Obviously, we know that the next level of... The next kind of loot we're meant to be getting goes up at... Say, level 100, 105, something like that. So there's quite a few levels in between now and getting to the next level. But we have started finding some better stuff. We have started finding some steel bits and bobs. Only level one, but it is a start. I thought I heard somebody then. No, nope, just me being paranoid. No, I. there you are, Nancy. There you are. Beautiful. Right, let's get this dug up. There we go, nice and easy. Now remember, when you get yourself a buried treasure, it is locked, but it does not spawn zombies, so double-edged sword, really. You don't get one, you get the other. Well, this is going rather well. Touch wood. Look at that, first time. Absolutely beautiful. Right, what are we going to get? Ah, not too bad, I suppose. Not too bad. Bit of money. Right, well, it's a good job they didn't spawn zombies, because I can't get it. Ah, yeah. There we go. Right, where's my bike? Right, let's get straight off while it's nice and early and get off to this quest down here in the desert. So I didn't actually realise we've actually got a prison down here. Now, we've been through the prison a couple of times before, and unfortunately it's a great, great-looking POI. But it's not the greatest for building a base in, and to be honest, it doesn't actually have that much loot inside it, which is rather, rather annoying. Is that another way manor to the left of us? Oh, wasn't looking where I was going. This way we're going, doggos. Well, we know what we're going to be facing in here. Have I still got a vulture? Oh my god, loads of them. Come on. 
Vultures everywhere. Right, well, we're not going to be double looting this. We've got a bit too much ammo on us, really. Let's just make sure he is all loaded up. Yes, he is. Right. What is this? Fetch? Yep. Yeah. Retrieve the supplies. Ooh, what was that? Iron crossbow schematic. Well, we haven't put any points into archery, so unfortunately... We're only going to be able to make a level 1 crossbow. Right, let's roll with this out. Gozer. Didn't think we were going to kill you in one. There we go. Woo! Ferals straight off the bat. Oh, we'll take the murky water, just in case we need to make some more plastic casts. I've put them on my bike. Uh, got rid of the... Any dogs? Oh, we can... It's locked open, like that's actually a thing. Right, what have we got here? Medical supplies. Another beaker. I regret ever buying that beaker because the amount of beakers we found in the game now. Always, always away, right. Open these up. Not much in there. I'm not going to beat through to get to that purse because there's nothing ever decent in a purse. I hear you. They don't let you shut any of these doors. Sneaky fun pimps. Right, well there's our supplies done nice and easy. Lucky Looter goggles on. Weapons bag. Oh, very nice. Medical supplies. Don't need the hood. Oh, there's loads of parts. Right, I don't want to get bitten on the bum. Right, let's just... Oh, can't scrap anything. Right, let me just quickly go and find out, find where these people are. Right, well, I have no idea where that threat is. I couldn't find it anywhere, so let's just grab that. What have we got in the big chest? Oh, a steel helmet. So we are starting to find steel bits and bobs here. We need to scrap that, but that is not going to be worth anything. Swap that for that, and we need the animal fat now. Coffee, we've got coffee being grown. And we don't need the murky waters. We can get plenty of that. Right, let's get to the trader and hand this in. Right, back at the trader then. Let's get 
Have we got anything here? I want a couple of coffees. A couple of eye candies. Right, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, Jen, how you doing? Meds, drugs, booze. I've got... Wow, I didn't think you had it in you. Good okay. Ooh, free antibiotics. Not a, not a bad one at all. Right, but first of all, before we do that, we want to sell you some gubbins, because I have far too much in here. You're not worth anything, so we're going to scrap you, but you're worth some money. Right, and that's going to be about it for what we sell you. Right, let's have a quick look at your inventory. We're fine now because we're growing everything ourselves. Right, you actually have some cement really cheap. 800 for a 1,000, so we're going to buy that. Ideally, we need a cement mixer. What have we got here? Some books, AK-47, Night Stalker, Bunker Buster. I do actually need one of those, not actually to increase the value of one of these for myself. So we're going to grab one of those. And no, that looks about it. That's not ideal at all for us. Thank you okay. so much. Good job. Let's... I knew you could do it. Uh, level 3, that's doing lock damage of 39, ours is doing 51, that's why, we're, why, why I want the Bunker Buster 4. I'm now going to go for the antibiotics. Do you have any jobs? Fetch 700 metres away or a clear 600 metres away. We're going to grab like you that. Handle yourself. If you finish two more jobs this week, I will give you Employee of the Month. Okay, so that's down towards the new town that we haven't really explored. I actually did the one in town, not this one up here. So we'll leave that one for tomorrow. We'll come straight down and do this one down here. See if there's a trader here. If there isn't, we'll jump across to this trader because it is only half one. So we're doing very well. So we'll quickly open you up and get everything put in there. Quickly modify this. I can hear a zombie, so let's go fast. Get you into there. There you are. Right. Let's get down to this next job. Right, well that took no time at all to get down here. Let's have a quick look at the map. Sometimes it comes up with the talk to the trader icon. Uh, this icon... No, we haven't got one at the moment. Oh, hello. Oh, missed you. Oh my god, look at that. Sometimes it comes up with the icon before you've actually got to the trader, so... We will have a quick look around. Right, well, let's quickly take some of that. Sort our health out a little bit. Have I got a honey on my bike? Don't think I have, to be fair. No, no spare honey there. Right, let's get half of the bullets out. And in fact, I'm actually going to take an eye candy... Do I have one on my bike? Yeah, I've got an eye candy there. Take one with me. There we go. Oh, no, no, didn't need to do that. Right. Let's get started. So we're going straight up onto the roof. We've got to find the supplies again. Any food for me? No. So the supplies are on this level. Well, we're going up again. Straight up onto the roof. Come on. Don't be a pain. Is there going to be any vultures? No, there's going to be zombies. Right. Used to be when there was a bird's nest, that's when you started worrying. So that will set me alight if I jump onto that. 
Okay, you've reloaded. Oh, hello. Can't jump at all. Avoid the fire. Oh, straight off with your head. Beautiful. Now, every time I'm waiting for a zombie, I'm expecting them to be runners. Now, we're getting to that point. Vitamin... We really could do some honey. Right, okay, we got it. And one of these could be a feral. I don't know what the hitbox is going to do for that one, so let's try this one first. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lucky Luda goggles on. Not that they really make a difference with bookcases. Great, great heist. Oh, that looks good. So what have we got here? Bats and clubs degrade 20% slower. Don't mind if I do. Duck bill mod. Great heist. What have we got here? Best loot typically has been automated defense systems like sensors, turrets. Devices will not recognise you for three seconds when sneaking. Okay, well, we're not going to have any people that we're actually attacking. You're not really worth anything, so we'll get rid of you and put you back on. Super water? No. Ooh, coffee. Let's keep on keeping on. So it's below us. We need to go down a level to get to our supplies. It looks like they're all camped out here in the attic. Need a better helmet than this, guys. Yes! He shoots, he scores. That was exactly what I was looking for. Right. Now, we can actually sort a few things out. Because there was another mod I wanted to put onto here. So, let's modify that. And now we've got room for one more mod up here. So, let's put you on. So that was ten, damage, um, 10, and that's got an army re armor rating of 10 as well. And now we've got all of our stuff matching. We have room for one more. Beautiful. Oh, you're a runner. Always assume everyone's running. Bookcase. Oh, wasteland treasures. No, not in there. Nothing in there. Oh, unlocked. Medicine cabinet. Okay, right, where are these supplies? Are they in... Anything in there? No? Oh, it's all, all empty promises in this house. Oh, what was that recipe? Moonshine recipe. And this one here... Oh, bloody typical, isn't it? We did the coffins a couple of episodes ago, and when we went down to the catacombs, now we can actually find 
or have a chance of finding precious gems. Bloody typical. Typical. Right. Come on, let's get in here. Four meters means it'll be the other side of this wall. <laughs> Right, don't mind if I do. Right, that's that one complete. Get out of my way. Right. Nothing up there. Right. Oh, bloody, he's behind a locked door. That's very strange. There you go, beautiful. Beautiful. Well, we're doing all right for bookcases. Oh, there's another mining book there. So this is where we probably would have come in from, from going outside. Yes, yeah, so it would have been jumped from there to there. Purse. And now we go, yeah, out this way. Follow the lights. I'm not sure if I've ever done this POI. Quite like it. Beautiful. That's what we like. Efficiency. I'm encumbered. My god, look how many clothes are in this place. Crazy amount of bags. Scrap, scrap. Oh, actually, we're going to take all of that and scrap, scrap. Which the? What is this one? Oh, we can stack things a little bit better. Okay, it's not a, a great deal of use, but hell, why not? Don't need that blue dye. Use that. Scrap that. Beautiful. Right, what else we got? More cloth. Anything that side? Nothing that side. That was the other thing I wanted to put in. I was trying to remember what the other thing I put into the helmet. This will give us everything... That, that can do with so heat resist plus 11 that will, we can now put that on and we'll get all the benefits from that while still wearing a normal helmet so we get the defense of the helmet plus now all the heat resist mods so very very useful and it makes it look like we're wearing a cowboy hat so it just makes us look a little bit more badass uh, another bookshelf Like Billy Ray Cyrus would say, cowboy hats from Gucci. This place is massive. And there's a coffin. Oh, that's always useful. Now we might find some precious gems or jewels in there. Come on. What have we got? Yeah, bugger all. Oh, bit of food. Some wood. Any of you runners? <laughs> Biggest one of you all's a runner. Come on. Don't want to waste any bullets on you. Put your pants away. Whole new meaning to the word granny pants. Right. Oh, beautiful. We've got an armor mod there as well. Right. There 
Let's get over here. Arrows. Yeah, I can do that in two now. I've put an extra mod into my axe, so we can now do that in two hits. Right, it's seven o'clock, everything started chirping. This place is massive. Where's this final loot? Because I want to use my eye candy and hopefully find, find myself something really good. Oh, that's Shanway Foods. I'll use... I'll open that. Clear myself some room. Are you going to run around the corner for me? No. I have to do the old double hitter, though. Right, which direction were we meant to go in? Lights are this way. Oh, bloody hell, downstairs. Another workbench. What is this, like an old funeral home or something? And where are we meant to be going? Right, that takes us to a backpack. Where is the final loot in this place? It couldn't have been what we already passed in the garage. Right, there's a light over here. Bloody hell. Hidden behind there. Oh my god, there's a whole graveyard down here. Wow. Alright, sword you out. I tell you what, that did look pretty damn good. Right, coffin, paintbrush. I'm not sure what they're considering to be precious gems. Nothing behind there. Nothing behind that one. Oh, look at that art and mining book. Craft diamond tipped tools. Okay, beautiful. Clear ourselves out a little bit more space. Oh no, actually, I don't want to. We'll sell that. We shall sell that. Right, let's keep on keeping on. Some chest on. Right, let's get our lucky looter goggles on. Not really worth anything. Nothing in that coffin. Unlocked. And there's the final loot. Right, let's take this eye candy. And I put that back on the bike when I went out there. What an absolute idiot. What a bloody idiot. Right. After all that. Oh, look at my um, machine gun. Let's get that repaired. Okay, got some repair kits. Have a bit and bobs to sell. More ammo. Oh, look at this. So we did get some gems in the end. Right. 
I do want those shotgun parts. We don't need a spud, we're growing them. This is huge. Absolutely huge. Don't need the steroid. Don't need the paper. We've got plenty of that. Ooh, two, two bits of steel. Take the ammo. Ah, so there's actually a way down to this one. Right, let me just check that main room because I'm not sure if I got everything in there. I think there was another coffin over here. Yeah. A uh, bit of glue. Okay, well, we're going to have to leave you. Right. So we'll know this for next time. There is going to be a nice sneaky way. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> right. By the cactus. We could have got, gone down there, got the loot, then restarted the quest and done it all over again. Right, bit of paper. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to quickly scout out the rest of this town because we haven't gone around it yet and then get myself some sand and get a, myself back home to drop all of this stuff off. So that's where I'm going to have to leave it. Big thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, any comments, put them down below and we'll catch you guys in the next episode take it easy guys see you later right i've just done three minutes worth of digging out here because i took a coffee and got myself 840 odd sand and just to quickly show you we did actually have a trader down here so i was just mapping out this town and we have actually got one so i'm going to head off home now and drop everything off unload everything and then tomorrow we're going to be coming to hand that one back into you over there and then coming down to this trader, see what jobs he's got and coming over to this one because we need that cement mixer sooner rather than later. Right, there is a Loza there, so thank you very much guys and I'll catch you guys. I'm going to have to sort you out. There we go, in the next episode. See you later.